Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic product review brought to you by Ian and Logan from Northern Vancouver, Canada. And they sent me some Korean treats. Obviously you can buy them here. There's one, and I have no idea what some of them are. Some of them have some English on it. So honey dip snack. No English on it whatsoever. Don't boil it, crunch it. So that's probably like, uh, what do they call Mr. Noodles? And I guess somebody said, a lot of people like to uh, just eat the Mr. Noodles without cooking them. And it actually does show you some instructions on the back. So you're supposed to pound it and then eat all the noodles dry. Uh, I showed you that one. And these look like uh, cookies with a cream in the middle since 1981. Check it out. I'm just kind of waiting for the camera to focus, making sure. Again, let me know in the comments below if you guys have eaten these before. These look like your typical, I can't read that one. <laughs> it's uh, obviously onion rings. Let's start with that since it's in my hand. Thanks, Ian and Logan. Mmm, so they look like regular onion rings. Puffy wheat, probably. Very crunchy, product of Korea. So it's uh, wheat flour and rice bran oil and other things. Enriched enriched wheat flour. They taste pretty good. They're not, it's, not, it's not overpowering with the, the kind of sour cream and onion that you would think that should be on here. It's very, it is just pr pretty much, like there's no sour cream and onion, it's just onion. So when they say onion rings, it's just onion. I'm just getting around to all these. These were all sent to me around October. And I guess that's April 11th, 2015 that they're due. So I'm glad I'm getting them done now. Let's go for the cookie next. And at the end of this, you guys put uh, like your suggestions as to which one you would like over the other one, just by the look and how I describe it. So that the onion ring, and it just tastes like an onion. An onion chip. Ooh. So they're like little cookies. Oops, and they fall out. So little cookies, and there's supposed to be stuff inside. Oh, almost like a little puffed pastry with a dab of chocolate inside. I could see me eating a box of those. I'm trying to think of what that reminds me of. Got a little bun. Not crunchy at all. Like a soft cookie almost. A little tiny bit of crunch over a soft cookie. Hmm. I like them. Not bad. I'd probably buy the onion rings over the at this point in time. I want to get this out of the way. <laughs> I've seen people who, who like eating dried noodles. But obviously somebody's, it's called a noodle snack, has uh, kind of kind of bumped it up and said, hey, why don't we just give it as snacks? The cookies are making my throat dry. All right, so it says smash it. It says grilled chicken flavor. It's a noodle snack, let's do it. I like chicken flavored things, so. What is that a stuff? flavor package uh, I guess that would be the flavor package oh, okay sprinkle spices here we go then I guess you shut it again It's a lot of fun, this one. This one has some fun aspect to it, as opposed to opening up and eating. You get to smash it, open up another package, pour it in, shake it up, and then share it with your friends. Hmm. Not as like, um, it's more of a chip consistency than uh, like noodles. I've had, I've eaten dry noodles before. And with the spices on it, 
It kind of has a little kick to it. I'm slowly starting to build. Not crazy hot. As I just showed you how big the thing was before. So I could see me eating a bag of that. Don't boil it. Crunch it. Hmm. So Ian and Logan, tell me which one is your favorite too. I want you guys to participate. Honey dipped snack. This is starting to build in my mouth. So I would buy this over the other two at this point in time because it's got a nice kick to it. Really nice. And it's funny, it doesn't show anything about spiciness on it, but it is. And I can actually start to feel it in my nose. Okay, let's do this one. Ooh. They're like little uh, shells. Shells. <laughs> shells. And this is a wheat based product too. Wheat flour, palm oil, sugar, starch. They smell like cinnamon. It doesn't show anything about cinnamon. Oh, well, it says honey dip snack, but it smells like cinnamon. Mmm. That's good. Uh, my daughter really likes Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, and that's what it tastes like. I think she's going to eat these. I've got little bits of something on there. Seeds. If I was something, wanting something sweet, I'd take these. It's got a really nice crunch. Real good... Uh, sweet cinnamon flavor to it. Like I said, it's exactly like uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch uh, with less of the sugar uh, grain granulars on it. That's really good. There's a toss-up between those two. But like I said, if I wanted a sweet chip, I'd buy this. If I wanted something a little bit more spicy, this, and then the onions, and then those cookies. These ones don't have any English on them whatsoever. I love your uh, hieroglyphs or characters. They're very cool. I like the Korean characters and J Japanese. It's very neat. This is a wheat flour. Sugar is the second ingredient. <laughs> so I'm thinking that they're sweet, but they look like they're spicy. I have no idea. I have no idea, and I'm so glad you guys sent me these things. If you want to send me something, please email me first because I'm really busy right now. This is why I bring my knife sometimes. Oh, there was a tear thing. Jeez, I know it's at the very end. Let's open her all up. That's what it looks like inside the bag. Looks like a big long noodle. It's, it's a holy, holy noodle, so you can see all the way through it. Mmm. It is very crunchy, as you can tell by my hollow head. Sweet right off the top. And then there's a slow kick of spice to it. It's these two things combined, but without cinnamon flavor. This, this is rocking. This is the one I'd buy again for sure. Wow. Mmm. I'm going to sit here and eat the whole bag. That is amazing. If you happen to have a Korean shop in your town, obviously they ship it over here. Try these ones. They're my favorite. I'm just waiting for that spice to... Yeah, it tastes like... um. I'm just looking at the picture, and it's almost like when you go uh, to you know a Chinese food place, and they've got that chicken that looks really, <clears throat> it looks like it's got syrup all over it almost, and uh, maybe like kung pao chicken or what, but there's no there's no chicken flavor to it. <clears throat> I really like these, man. These will be the first to go in my house. Mm. So if you speak Korean. 
Let me know how to say that in the comments below in English. Just phonetically say it, spell it. Well, thank you very much, Ian and Logan, for sending me that from all the way from North Vancouver. These treats, I'm not even sure if I've ever seen them in uh, even any of the Korean shops I've ever been in here in Canada or in uh, Ontario. But they're obviously probably all across Ontario, Canada, and uh, probably the U.S. as well. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching my video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And once again, Ian and Logan, you guys rock. Thanks, guys. I really liked trying all these snacks. Talk to you later. Bye.